Hello everybody! Welcome back to Bird's Eye Plays Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Just turn up the volume and... <coughs> ah, sorry. I'm apparently dying. He's over there. And he's there right... He th is. Wait. Oh! Interesting. Each of the... Each of the priests will give me a mission. Oh, that's kind of... <coughs> that's kind of cool. I mean, that's a good way to do it, so... Hello? I am not a disgusting creature. Who are you? If you're here for your purification bath, you'll have to come back another time. I don't wanna... I'm here for information. In that case, you can go straight to Hades. I need to know about a Spartan woman who came through here many years ago. Did that eagle of yours sit in your ears? I'm under strict orders not to talk to any mercenaries. Especially not about Spartan women or injured babies. My eagle will tear out your tongue, priest. Forgive me, not the tongue. Not like <laughs> me, Don. Chrysis threatened anyone who speaks to the eagle bearer. Cause she's a cult Tell member. Me about the woman and, her baby, and I won't drown you in your bathhouse. How's that for a threat? Please, no. There is already a corpse in there. <gasps> what are you talking Wait, about? What? Snakes. Snakes. They're everywhere. Must have a I'm sick the of these we motherfucking the snakes in my motherfucking grease. The snakes killed someone. A patient was purifying himself when they slithered in. Turns out he's terrified of snakes. Fell over dead. Now the snakes have made him their home. What if I took care of your snake problem? Would you talk to me then? Yeah, oh, why most not? definitely. The purification bath is crucial in the path towards healing. I'll take right. care of your snake problem. Then you'll tell me what I need to know. I'm sick. Of these motherfucking snakes in my motherfucking grease. Yay. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I kind of like this. That's like, talk to these. You have to talk to these people to continue on, and they're the ones to give you more quests. I like that. Give me money. Give me experience. And give me sex. Is the bathhouse free of snakes? I carved out yes. every single one of those slimy mud like this. My All those babies. bastards. What have you done to my babies? Your snakes infested my bathhouse. A sick man is dead because of them. You. You did this. See. Si. Good snakes are dead snakes. You'll pay for this. Curse you. Well, and I'll curse you too. Well, what? I took Information. Care of the now you're going to tell me about the Spartan woman and the baby. <laughs> I actually don't know anything. It was before my time. The man who does know is Mithun, but he won't tell you. He won't tell anyone anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm killing you. Snakes. At least I got a name. Mither. Oh, I can't kill him. Shame. That would have been fun. Ooh, shut up. You're dead to me. You're all dead to me. Oh, mercenary. Do you see what I see? Tis another mercenary. Ooh, level 65, too. Then we both die today. Nah, just you. Yay. Give me your loot. Excuse me. Pardon me. Hello, sir. 
How do you do? My nose. Greetings, young one. Come to offer us Clipios a sacrifice? No. But I'm searching for a Spartan mother who may have. The great goddess Ira guides many mothers to the sacred place. Surely I'm too feeble to remember them all. What are these stone slabs for? These are uh, records. We document all who pass through, their illnesses, treatments, so that the glory of Asclepios can be celebrated. Hmm. I don't need your memory. I just need to find the right stone. Yes. Um, yes, of course. That's very wise indeed. If only I had the time to help you. Uh huh. Listen, I am not here to hurt you. I'm just looking for my mother. It's Chrysis. She's got every priest in the sanctuary under her thumb, and she'll squash anyone who fits information to the eagle bearer. Then don't tell me anything. Just bring me to the stone that can. Follow me then. Quickly. We must be discreet. Lead the way. Okay. Did you hear that? We must be discreet. This way. Over here. If anyone is watching, they'll have my head. Yeah. What kind Move. of sanctuary isn't safe for its priests? Times have changed. Eagle bear. Fuck. Okay. I was scared for a second there. Ah, I remember this tale. Written during the time of the great Elod revolt. You would have been only a child. I don't need the history, just the details. It tells the tale of a woman with worms in her throat. Asclepios took off her head so we could remove them, then reattached it in her sleep. Definitely not the right one. I wonder what Hippocrates would think of these treatments. Stay Hippocrates away. is a fine healer. Showed so much promise. Showed? He's healing the sick right now. He puts too much faith in his hands and not enough in the gods. When it comes uh. to life and death, I prefer hands. Are all the testimonies so outrageous? Writers today, Thucydides, every Pythis. The petulant Aristophanes. All of them try for realism. But what really inspires is greatness, magic, gods. This one tells the tale of a man with sword wounds. A pack of dogs licked him clean, and Eureka, the man's best friend in the. Yeah, I said I was looking for a lady. This is hopeless. These stories give people hope even better. Well, I'm losing mine. Same. Tell me about Chrysis. A very powerful, dangerous woman. But it was not always so. She was abandoned here as a child and taken in by the priests. Taught the ways of the gods. She learned uh, very quickly. It was very strong-willed. And uh, before too long, it was the priests who listened to her. She was hmm. loved. But there's an anger in her heart that could not be soothed. So... When her methods turned to madness, anyone who opposed her got... Uh, got uh. what? I've already said too much. And what about this one? Let me guess. It tells the tale of a blind woman who had her eyes licked by snakes. It reads of Sparta. Came here with child. Sought pity from the gods. Why is most of it scratched out? Oh, uh, I'm... I'll just tell you. I know this one by heart. The Spartan woman arrived filthy and bleeding from her travels. We cared for her, gave her food, a bath, and she left. Where she went, I do not know. But the child could not be saved. Who does know where she went? We've been spotted. Meet me later, near the olive tree of Heracles, at the entrance of the sanctuary. I may have something for you. And 
what do we have here? A priest and a mercenary out for a friendly stroll? May yes. the gods be with you, Plistos. I was just on my way to the archives when this Mystheus bumped into me. Is that so? And what were you both chatting about so fervently, might I ask? The good priest here was teaching me how to heal sword wounds. Um, yes, sword wounds. Oh, really? <laughs> and what is the treatment for sword wounds, according to Timoxenos here? Uh, wasn't it the dogs? Dogs. What about them? You use dogs to lick the wounds clean. Very good. Don't give away all our tricks, Timoxenos. Who will bring offerings to the gods when our patients learn to heal themselves? <laughs> no, no, of course not. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have matters to attend to. You have your treatment, Mistios. Now please, leave the sanctuary. Eh, make me. Make me, douche. Oh. Okay. How dare you turn your back on me? Just let her burn. Yay! Okay, olive tree, olive tree, olive tree. That old priest. Oh, there it is. Hiding by the tree. That's a really big tree, too. Hang on, let's try to get it. And better focus. Yeah, that's a big ass tree. You know, it kind of looks like the one from Sleepy Hollow, like the movie. A little bit. The tree of Heracles. I'm not sure if it's loved more for its legend or its olives. Now, where is that priest? Right there. I <sighs> thank you for your discretion, Eagle Bearer. This is has many eyes and ears throughout the sanctuary. What else can you tell me about the Spartan woman and child? The woman left the child's blanket behind. We tried to return it, but it was too painful a memory for her. Where did she go? What happened to the child? So, Chrysis was right. You knew the rules, Timoxenos. You will suffer her wrath. Please, Tos. Please. Get behind me, priest. I'll deal with these two. Target of the wrong person, but that's fine. Rude. Me. Yeah. Okay, now what? Where's the where's the priest? Also, didn't I just kill everyone? What um um Okay. All right. Um Oh. 
Because the priest is dead. Alright. I didn't end up killing him, did I? One of them must have done it or something. I don't know. Oh well. Let's talk to this priest then. Hello, other priest. Warned of the eagle bearer. Wants nothing but drachmi for blood. I was told. We're wasting time, priest. We can discuss what I want when this sick girl's needs are taken care of. Her illness seems to have no cure, and it's spreading. Our sacrifices have done little to draw the attention of the gods. Pigs, goats, all have fallen on deaf ears. We need the beast whose blood will ignite these flames for Asclepius to see. What did you have in mind? There is a rumor of a bull with skin as white as snow roaming the sanctuary outskirts. Head west of here, towards the coast. Bring it to mm. me alive, and we'll offer a sacrifice the gods cannot ignore. I'm touched you will hear yeah, this. All right. But I know why you're even here. Chrysis made all priests swear oaths to seal our lips in the face of the eagle bearing mysteries, or forfeit our lives. But I serve the gods and the sick. My oaths are to them. <sighs> I'll find okay. this bull for you. There you are. Go on here. Huh. Another impact quest. I'm definitely going to have to look at some of those tonight. Figure out what up with those. The white bull. Am I too late? I don't know. I couldn't see shit. Attacking my bull. Look like he died willingly. I'll take his heart for the sacrifice. You have to do. Hermes homie? What achievement is that? Oh, that's right. I can't call my horse here. Hang on. Yeah, what achievement is that? Hang on. What did it say? Hermes homie? Right? Right, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Open that. Uh, let's see. So I've been getting a lot of side achievements lately. Is it the additional feats? No. So it's just a regular achievement. Unveil all subregions on Greece. Wait, I hadn't done that yet? Oh, weird. I just wondering how I had done that more already. Well, at least I got that one. Or no, I hadn't got that achievement, and it was worrying me because I kept trying to go around everywhere, and I was like, I've unveiled everything. 
have I not? But at least now I know I didn't. That's right, you fucking run. Bitch. Please help our daughter. Working on it. Shut up. Uh, big stretch. Did you find the white bull? I couldn't bring it back alive. But I did manage to collect its heart. This won't be enough to please us, Clepios. The beast died unwillingly, and with just a heart, we'll only be able to pray for one life. Please, Mythios. The white bull you killed was mine. My farm feeds half of Arulis. If I die, people will starve. I beg you! My husband was killed by the sickness. I have two small children. Who will take care of them if I die? I am wealthy and will pay you for this blessing. <coughs> it's okay. Give the sacrifice to them. You did this. You choose whose prayers get heard by the gods. What? Yeah, fuck the wealthy woman. Um. I know what it's like to be small and forsaken. Pray for the girl. You regret this. <laughs> Not an easy choice, Mistios, but it's been made. The rest is in the hands of the gods. I did my part, priest. The Spartan woman you're after. Mm -hmm. You've met her? Her visit to the sanctuary is legendary. But sadly, it was before my time. The man you want is Midon, the elder priest. He spoke of her often. That is, before he cut out his tongue. Cut out his tongue? When he's not healing the sick, he's in the guest house. Spends a lot of time being tended to by the servants. Thank you. I won't forget you helped me. And these people won't forget you helped them. Yay! Oh shit, where is it? Found him. Okay, activate the quest. Oh! All right, speak no evil. What's up, guys? Yo, what up? What's up? Hey. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. <laughs> Will it though? Do we have a problem? I don't know, do we? Do we have a problem? Hold up. Hey. Where is it? Oh, shit. Found it. Right in the ass. I know you tried, but eh. I still win. Mine. Woohoo! Guards! They're dead. And you must be Midon. He doesn't speak. So I've heard. 
I'm here to find out why. Chrysis did this to him. Uh -huh. I thought he did this to himself. To prove his loyalty to her. Now, why would Chrysis want an elder priest to cut out his tongue? Midon is a caring, generous man. Mm -hmm. I want answers from him. Not you. Tell me about the Spartan woman and her baby. He can only answer yes or no. The Spartan woman, was her name Mirini? Okay. They said she had the baby with her. Was it hers? The baby was close to death when they arrived. Midon prayed for its life. Okay. You saved the child. No. He did everything he could, but the baby was badly wounded. Did she tell you where she was going? Damn it. Do all sanctuary priests take their servants to bed? I am not his servant. We share a sacred bond. Then why is your name title slave? I know why Chrysis made you cut out your tongue. The night my mother brought my brother here, you and your priests left him for dead. And Chrysis didn't like you telling the story. That's not what happened! What do you know? You're too young to have been there. He told me the story many times before that wit stole his voice. He tried to save the baby, did everything he could. Uh huh. Why do I think you're lying? I'm gonna stab you in the throat. I don't believe you. Dead. How can my baby be dead? I don't know what to tell you. You were lucky he survived as long as he did. That, that fall was devastating. <laughs> my baby. My baby. Listen, there's nothing we can do for you anymore. You'd best be on your way. Ray is here. <laughs> They're gone. They're both gone. He wept for that Spartan woman so far from home. Her baby barely recognizable. Hardly breathing. Hmm. Tell me, please. I need to know. Not even Apollo could save the child. Nidon told me how the Spartan woman wept, held the baby in her arms, sang to him, before finally leaving him to the gods. Chrysis took the baby, didn't she? And she made you cut out your tongue to hide the truth. Where is Chrysis? There is an altar where people offer their sick babies to be healed. This is where she took the child. Find it near the statue of Apollo Maleatas and you'll find Chrysis. People come to this sanctuary to heal. But I come here and find people dying without hope, priests without tongues, and babies left with an insane woman. <laughs> My mother was a fool to trust any of you. I'm going to find Chrysis, and she's going to pay for what she's done. Oh, snap! Whoa. Hush, my child. May Ira bless our sacred family. No. I'm killing you. And then I'm killing your sage. Where the fuck is she? to finding my mother. I must find this altar of Apollo Maleatas. Yes, we must. Hey. What do you know? It's up there. Oh, god damn it. There we go. Come, beautiful. My beautiful girl. I think the only reason I like this skin the most is because, one, 
The horse feels dark and evil, but at the same time, purple. There's the altar of Apollo Malayas. Found it. I'm a killer. And I'm just gonna say fuck it and just keep this episode going until I find uh, the sage as well. <gasps> Wherever they are. Yeah, uh, 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 uh. Is she up there? I don't think she's up here. find a lot more than a helpless infant waiting for her. Agreed. Warning. Must be getting close. Oh, they killed an eagle. Thank God it wasn't mine. Wait. Oh, you fuckers. What are you doing with the baby? Thank you. Dear God. Ow. God, I hate the sound of crying baby. Healing seems to run in your bloodline, oh mighty eagle bearer. Don't you dare speak of my family, snake. I still remember the night your mother brought me my child. The sad, pathetic thing, crying in the rain. Had I known then that Mirini had two children, but here you are. My family is complete. You You're let my insane. mother believe her baby was dead. But he was. Oh, how she wept when his little heart stopped beating. But then I took care of him. Placed him on this very altar. Screamed for the gods to spare his life. And they listened. Where did my mother go that night? That weakling crawled to the hills of Corinth. The monger was supposed to deliver her back to me, but she can't hide forever. She will give us more children. What the fuck? What did you do with my <coughs> mother? <coughs> Excuse me. I saved his life by teaching him to suffer, to know pain so well that he would learn to welcome it like an old friend. And now he will teach all of the Greek world to know that pain. You tortured him he was just a baby i taught him to survive this world is cruel it demands strength or death so i gave him strength i'll run my spear through your throat for the pain you caused <laughs> this world is pain i gave demos strength your mother was a weakling who whined to the gods like a pig on an altar. I am more a mother to her child than she will ever be. I can be a mother to you too, Eagle Bear. God, this you're insane. my family. You and your cult are going to destroy the Greek world. You bring nothing but suffering. You talk of suffering and yet you come drenched in blood and threaten my life. You are a killer, just like your brother. He let me show you. What? No! Why would you do such a thing? Are you fucking My insane? Child. This baby is yours? She was dying. Chrysis had me bring a gift to Ira so that he might be protected. Chrysis lit the temple on fire with the boy and me inside. 
Chrysis is a servant of Ira. She does what needs to be done. What needs to be done? She left your baby to burn alive. And you saved him. God's bless you, Eagle Bearer. Sleep now, sweet child. God, you're all insane. I'm sure saving that baby was the right thing to do. Chrysis's reign of terror must end. If what Chrysis said was true, he really believes my brother died long ago. I should have enough information now. I should head back to Athens to see Aspasia. Damn it. That's what it meant. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Damn it, okay. Well. Fucking A, okay. Sorry, I just, I remembered seeing that I was given a choice. To save the boy or kill her. But I'd be able to find her later. Uh, sorry, I'm just looking to see if there's any more side quests that have popped up. Um, God damn it, I hate that it made me choose. Actually, I didn't even think that was a choice, but I just kind of saved the kid. Um, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. Next time on Bird's Eye, we're going to start this little side quest and then uh, probably whatever main quest they have. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time.